Hey guys, it's me again, and um, I am here to do another look back review on, of course, another animated movie that I had to purchase because, you know, it was nominated for an Academy Award, I think back in, for, um, I think back for, um, the animated, re animated movies in, um, 2013, and it was nominated for an Academy Award, and it lost to Frozen, of course, because Frozen was such a big deal. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I will, I will never understand that. But um, this, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure maybe none of you have really heard of this movie, but in some respects, this does deserve the recommendation because in what, in what style it went for, and what, um what the simplest of stories and yet what it had to offer i i thought was um i thought was really um really something to to see and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about maybe some of you know but most of you don't is this animated film it was made in um it was made in france i believe and this is a and this is um um i need to read the title uh Oh, how can I read that? Someone, so, um, I know that last one is Celestine. I know that last one is Celestine. Let me try. Let me go through my pronunciation on because I'm so dumb. Um, El, El, Ernest, Ernest. Oh, Ernest. Yes, I'm so stupid. I can't think for myself. I can't pronounce the names. To be fair, I've never learned to pronounce any names, but. I'm terrible at names, but Ernest and Celestine. This is, uh, and um, this is the movie that we're going to be talking about today. So, I actually found this out um, because um, because one of the people I'm subscribed to, um, Celplex, who reviews animated who reviews animated films and a bunch of other stuff, she um, did her lit did her list for the twenty. 2013 animated movies and she mentioned this on there and it was pretty high on that list so when I saw this at my local at you know whatever I went to go purchase this at I was like oh I remember I remember you know this film has got nominated for the Academy Award and it got like you know praise and everything like that well why don't I just why don't I go check it out so I ended up buying it and then I and then I ended up watching it and uh, from what I watched this is one of those movies where, I mean, there is just, there is like, there is so much, there is like, things done right, but it was the simplest of things done right. And I, I don't know how to really explain, explain it that much, because it's just very, very simple. And I really miss simple movies. I really miss the fact that we, like, we don't get these simple movies anymore. They always have to be big, epic stories. And if they're not big, epic stories, there are film, they're, they're just, you know, indie movies and such like that who try, who, you know, tell very, very complex stories and stuff like that. If they're not big, epic stories, they have to be complex stories. And I'll tell you right now, this is not really much of a big epic story, a really complex story, I should say. This just this just follows, you know, this just follows um Ellis my stupid word of trying to know how to spell things and uh um Ernest I need to get that word right. Ernest. It's Ernest for crying out loud. It's Ernest. It just follows Ernest, who is, um, you know, the bear, and um, Celestine, the the mouse. And it just pretty much just tells them about how they met and how they helped each other out and how they gained a strong friendship with pretty much them being enemies. And I know that's a story that you've heard so many times to death. I've heard it so many times to death. The fact is that they do address that they are enemies, like right from the first, from the first line that they are 
pure enemies. They don't they don't communicate with each other and they don't want to communicate with each other because of prejudice. And and the fact that, well, I think that um I think the bear the bears do tend to to um, actually eat mice, so that that's another w reason to stay away from them. But but when they when they start to get the the friend friendship their friendship actually going, trying to get them helped out, and it, I was like, okay, we're going with the same story, and you know, it's 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 okay. I just I just wish it could I wish it could be something more. And then when it actually gets to the point where they actually actually have to go in hiding because of their friendship, that's when it started to get interesting. It's like okay, they had to go in hiding because the because they're both of their species are actually hunting them down because they be, because of their belief that this is wrong and they're actually being hunted down and there's a good portion of the movie where it's just them two trying like you know hiding out in um and in, in um the the bear the bear god um uh, Ernest Ernest Ernest's house and they're hiding out over over there and and pr and pretty much they're just you know they're just living you know in peace they're pretty much you know living living their own lives together i mean pretty much it's like it's like um it's like a very this pig I, if you guys don't know i have a guinea pig i'm sorry if this review is all over the boy place but i have a guinea pig right here she's whining shut up i'm trying to talk about this movie can you please no, you're not because you're hungry. Okay, um, I'm just gonna talk about with the movie without her, you know, you know, going on. But it's pretty much um, Celestine is, is a child, uh, and she acts like a you know a child. She she acts like a child, and um, Ernest is like this you know this bear who's down on his luck and everything. He's pretty much you know a down on his luck adult, and they're pretty much it's just them interacting with each other. And it really is interesting to to see a child who, you know, is um, you know some you know has it has it together wants wants to do good but gets in trouble and this um you know adult who's pretty much you know down on his luck and want it wants you know nothing but food pretty much he it's just it's just nice to see the, you know this type of interaction with each other i mean that's something we get like we get a lot of stories about oh this you know you shouldn't be together because one day you two will be enemies you know that fox and the hound type story and and it's just interesting to see like maybe it was the age maybe it was the age that it was portrayed because because once they get in, once they hide out and they actually start to know each other and they, they actually start to form this friendship, it was really it was really great to see, and it, it was it was really great for that, for that, two thirds of that movie because it just really it really showed the friendship and you know how what whether or not it was going to be okay whether or not they would get caught. And it was really great, and it was really great to see that friendship bloom, and it was like a nice, genu genuine relationship. And um, and of course, they had to go to the, you know, they have to, they actually had to stand trial for, um, they had to stand trial for what they did, but they had to stand trial in different sides of the room, like Celestine gets gets captured by the bears and she has to stand trial with them and um Ernest gets captured by the by the mice and he has to stand trial for it which is a you know a good a good switch a good switch on you know just trying to literally keep keep their heads in a place where you could um you know easily lose it but you know, it's just with that friendship that they were building, that they were building up. I mean, I wish it, some, some part of me wishes that it could have, like, you know, stayed like that. And yes, in the end, they do get their little happy ending, if you will. But, you know, some part of me really wishes that it could have, like, you know, just, you know, ended like, ended like, um, like maybe you didn't know what was what was um going to happen to them and they were just going to you know stay in hiding and um you know whether or not this friendship would would get would get deeper and you know one would have to 
do something to the other and make a sacrifice. And, um, you know, with the, with the trial, it's okay. I thought it was going to actually end up to something much more deeper than that. But for what it, for what it did try to pull off and what for a French animated film tried to pull off, it was really impressive, and I'm not going to lie. And another thing that really, well, didn't, because I saw it, I saw it before, it's art style before, and the freaking pig is crying again. Oh my god, I'm going to, I swear, I'm just going to, uh, shut up, pig, you are not part of this. But it was, it was one of those things where I saw the art style, but when you actually see it move, it's like, it literally is like a storybook coming to life. And that's what it is. It's a story for children, and it's the simplest of stories. But it it tells it in like that that type of thing where you see the it a book illustration coming to life and moving and it being animated. And it really is a, a good, really good 2D animation. By God, we really need to save 2D animation in the States. At least here in the States. Over there, they're doing wonders with 2D animation. What are we doing? We get web, web, um, animations. And I'm not saying that they're, that they're bad. They're, some of them are freaking amazing. I just wish that we can get some in the movie theater. Like, honestly, we need to get a theatrical movie because as much as I really love the animation in this, this, this is really like, you know, it was, if it, if we could get a, a release over there and get a barely release here, that is bull. That is such bull. So, it's, it's just, uh, I'll go rant on that later in another video. But, but it's, it's something where, um, you know, it it just wants to tell a simple story with these simple characters. Pretty much, these are the only two people who you actually care about in this movie. There's no nobody else who you really care about. And, um, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you just have these two. Because if, they, if it was, like, you know, just, you had to follow this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. I mean, it would get too crowded, and I didn't think, and I wouldn't have thought that I would have actually liked it as much as I did. But I did end up liking this film. And, and um, I want to mention something. At least something of the film that it's absolutely amazing. And it's like a one minute shot. But the shot, I don't know why. It brought me back to something. It's when Ernest and Celestine are in hiding. And Ernest is like doing a picture like, drawing a picture, because that's her hobby, she likes to draw, and Ernest is just, you know, playing the violin and stuff like that, and she's drawing a tree, I, I believe it's a tree, and she's, she's drawing it, and I don't know why, but the way that they animated that tree, it was like something out of Fantasia, honestly, like, for a minute, I was like, oh my god, fantastic artistry, right there, for a minute. I felt like I was watching watching something out of Fantasia and it was really really beautiful to see and that that's what and you know if 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 it had like probably more moments like that where it just wanted to show off what it could do with its animation I mean I I, I would have really loved this film but as of as of now I just I just really like it so um I'm just going to give this about a um I will give it like um I, I'm really having a hard time what I should get this movie because it really does deserve the prize praise and that's why I'm going to give it about a seven point four. <laughs> a seven point four. Really admire the artistry, really admire how simple the story is and how it how it's good how it's you know just so simple that it does not need a, a hero or a villain it's just these two characters and i really do admire that so i hope oh you guys enjoy this review and um that was them trying uh, calling and i hope you guys really enjoyed this review and as always jc animation critic out see you guys later take care